we're looking at the unit circle here and in this tutorial what we're going to find is the angle measurements first of all in the inner circle in degrees and then next we're going to find the angle measurements in radians so well, how I want you to think about this is as this unit circle, the one that's in bold on the outside here, think of it as a clock face. So straight up on the y-axis, that's 12. And then we have 1 o'clock. Skip the 45 for right now. We're not dealing with those because we don't have that on the clock face. Then we have 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Keep going around. I'm sure you've seen a clock before. 6, 7, straight across on the negative. We've got 9 o'clock. All right, so there completes our clock face. So if I were to take 360 degrees for a full circle and divide it by 12 hours, I get myself 30 degrees per hour. So in between 12 and 1, I've got 30 degrees. Between 1 and 2, another 30. Between 2 and 3, 30 degrees. So the way that we ordinarily start this is on the positive x-axis, the first point, zero degrees. So up to the second point, that's one hour, that's going to be 30 degrees. Again, ignore the one that's right there in the middle. Going up from 30 degrees, we have 60. Going up another 30, we have 90. So we just keep adding 30. Add 30 again, we get 120. Skip that one in the middle. 150. Of course, the semicircle is 180. Keep going to 10. 240, straight down is 270, and 300, 330, and then back to zero degrees or 360 to complete the full circle. Okay, now let's deal with the ones that are right in the middle. So straight up is 90 degrees. It makes a right angle. So this one in the middle is cutting it in half. It has to be 45 degrees. I add another 45, I get to 90. Add another 45, I get 135. Another way to think about this is in between 30 and 45, that's 15 degrees. So in between the small ones is just 15 degrees. So I can think of between 210 and the next one should be 225. In between 300 and the next one should be 315. So that completes all of the degree measurements on the unit circle.